Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here again. We've just finished witnessing the eclipse of the sun. It's been a very long time since this has occurred. And we who are here today witnessing it probably, well, it might be some folks from last time. I don't know, but it's my first. Here's what I want to say. People are using this moment to talk about all kinds of things. You can bet your last money on that. Especially those who predict stuff. Your soothsayers <clears throat> and those prophets. Everybody is going to be talking about something more significant than just watching the moon slide across a parts of the sun. And I guess since everybody else is going to be doing it, I'm going to be doing it too. The difference between, hopefully, what I do and what they're going to do is they're going to try to guide you down some path, try to direct you as some significant meaning that is not just for them, but for you as well. And I, um, I hope I don't do that. That's not my intention because my message did not say, teach them this. But what my message did say to me was watch this. And watching this, what did I see? I saw a movement of the heavenly bodies in such a way that there is no doubt in my mind based upon my understanding of existence of things, and it's quite limited, that man had no hand in that process. And what that signified to me is that God is saying to me that God is God, not man, not any human being, regardless of their gender, regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of how long their hair is, or how short it is, or how black it is, or how white it is. God is God. And the message to me is that those who are students of the Bible have heard it said that once perfection existed and it was imputed upon evil started manifesting itself even though an edit had been made that on the day that you violate these basic principles on the day that you violate what I have said on the Day that you violate the truth, you will surely die. Now that story says that the violation occurred, and the story said they surely died. And in the story, they said they were kicked out of the garden, and we don't know exactly what the garden means, but we do know where we are at, and it is not a heavenly divine disposition. And not being that, it is easy for me, talking to me now, not you, to see that if I'm not in the heavenly place, where else can I be? Am I in the in-between or am I in the mix? Somebody say I might not be in the mix if they heard this complication story and say, the next question would be, what about those who are being blown away with bombs, those who are being burned up with napalm and all these kinds of things? Are they in the midst? Are they somewhere in between? Well, it doesn't matter. The message to me is that if I'm not there, then I can be anywhere. So, recognizing that God is God, then I recognize my existence is here because of God. And the reason I'm going through the stuff that I'm going through right now is because God is being denied right here in this world, right now in my mix. I see it all around me. I see the poverty. I see the crime. I see the violence. I see hate. I see all these things. So I know God is being denied here. So what has the world said to us? If not in word, definitely indeed, and they have said it in word, when they took an oath against any enemy, whether foreign or domestic, enemy, what enemy is? One who comes to destroy you, 
whether it's physically or spiritually. Well, we can't destroy the world physically when you don't have the physical power to do that. But when you have the spiritual power, that means they don't have the spiritual power to defeat you. So what they do is they will use, and they promise you, they will do the same thing that was done when you violated the rules of good. Now that you're violating the rules of not good, they will kill you. And what does that message of the great heavenly bodies doing what it did today saying to me in a situation like that? It is saying to me, if you violated the rules of life and you are experiencing the consequences of it now, then naturally, without a doubt, if you are killed for doing good, you can bet your last money. You will benefit and experience the benefits of being killed for doing good. Good then becomes your heavenly reward. So I'm saying to me, well, I'm white-headed. My eyes might not be a fire. And I really love to believe that life is great. As a sinner man, I had all kinds of fun in life. But with my eyes being open, I saw the pain that others felt. And it began to take away of the joy of the what I call pleasures of life at that time. And so my focus became to see that great life, how we could all experience that life. And in time, I was shown how that could happen. I was shown that everything belongs to God, you and I included, and that everything that takes for survival, it has already been provided for, certain parts by God, the other parts by us. And the rules are obvious to me, and I must live by them. So that you who do not know God can judge God by my living by those rules. And whether or not you will choose that will not be based upon me personally. But by the spirit that is broadcast out from me. That will reach out to those searching hearts that want to know the path to freedom. Who wants to be delivered from bondage. Who wants to be liberated and free and you don't have to die you don't have to wait to die to be free i am free now i ain't got nothing i can't get on a plane and go anywhere my folks get sick down state i can't jump in the car and just go because it's there i'm not able to do that because i'm living in a system that has denied me this and somebody say well if you put your hand to the plow you could be able to do it but they can't argue that because there's so many people who are working who can't do that. But there is a way that all of us can be able to do that. And that's the way I advocate. That is the way that I see is better than me conforming to this. And so this, my friends, is not worth me living for. But for a place that everybody can enjoy their dreams is worth me dying for. Bye-bye.